Hey y'all, I'm Rev Mimi and I'm here with another spiritual snack. On my way in to record today, it started pouring rain and I knew as soon as I saw the first drop fall that it was going to mess up my travel plans. I knew that there was going to be traffic, which shouldn't even be possible, right? Because it's the Rona and no one should be out on the roads anyway. But there was traffic and I was irritated. God spoke to me in that moment because when I was younger, I used to love the rain. Even when my friends would be upset or irritated by the fact that the rain canceled our plans, I loved it. I always thought it was beautiful. I always thought it was calming. And God spoke to me and told me that there is such power in a rain. There is such power in a storm. And it's up to us to make sure that we pay attention to the purpose of that rain and pay attention to the purpose of those storms. So there are three main things that I want us to remember as we think through the purpose of the rain, the purpose of a storm. And the first is that rain can clear out mess. A storm has the ability to clear out mess. I don't know what storm you might find yourself in right now. I don't know what rain might be pummeling your life right now, but understand that God has a purpose for that rain. And one of the main purposes for that rain is to remove any anything negative right? Anything that might stunt your growth. The rain has the power and the capability of removing it. The second thing, that was four, but the second thing that storms and rainy seasons um, have the ability to show us is what's real, what can last, and what's strong enough, right, to withstand the storms. There are some people in your life, there are some things in your life that aren't strong enough to get you through a storm, right? There are some friendships that you need to end because they're not going to get you through those difficult seasons. They're not going to be able to withstand the rain. I don't want to mention the song, but they're not going to be able to make it through the rainy season. And the rain can reveal that to you, right? Stormy seasons have a way of showing you who's for you for real and who's not, who it is that God is trying to remove from your life. The last thing that rain and stormy seasons are also able to accomplish is growth. The fact of the matter is seeds that are planted, flowers that are planted, all of these things need water. They need nourishment, right? In order that they might sprout into whatever it is that God has called them to be. And the same is true for us. God sometimes allows stormy seasons simply because we need nourishment from God, simply because we need to be grown by God. And if we're so busy looking at the inconvenience of the rain, if we're so busy looking at the inconvenience of that stormy season, whatever trial, whatever tribulation, whatever struggle we're facing, if we're so focused on that, we might not be able to tap into the growth that God is trying to bless us with. The Bible tells us to consider it pure joy when we face trials of many kinds because it allows us to become mature and complete in God. So what is God trying to grow in you? What is God trying to complete in you. Listen, we have had a great time at our KF squad parties these last couple weeks. And next week, we're going to do something a little bit different. We want to have a real talk discussion. We want to talk about whatever it is that's on your hearts. And we want to pray with you all. So make sure that you tune in. If you haven't already registered to be a part of our KF squad parties for our middle and high school students, go ahead and shoot me an email, R-E-V-M-I-M-I at kingdom.global, so I can go ahead and add you to the list. I think that's all that I have for you guys today. Stay safe, stay popping, and be blessed.